Well, there are a lot of benefits to playing sports, but with no referee, games can't be played. So to address the nationwide ref shortage, Bath High School has added a sports officiating elective course. Today, News 10's Aaron Bowling spoke with students in the class and tells us how they're working to solve the problem. Blowing the whistle on fouls, bad behavior, and sticking to the rules of the game. You might love the refs or hate them, but they're essential for competitions. There has been a shortage now and it's only going to get bigger and we need them because as the older group starts to retire, the younger group's got to come or else there's not going to be enough officials to do the games. Working to address the referee shortage, Bath High School has a new elective this school year, sports officiating. Students from fall semester have already refed their first few games and say they plan to continue once they graduate. I took interest in basketball. So, so far I made 70 bucks, $35 a game for about four, 45 minutes work. Students study textbooks, take online courses, and complete real life training in the gym. Aside from the extra cash, students say it's about staying active with their sport. If you're passionate about the sport that you're doing, it just it's even better when you're officiating it because you get to be, just get involved with it a lot more. Alex Schrauben teaches the course and joins his students on their jobs to provide support. As an experienced ref himself, he knows a thing or two about dealing with disgruntled individuals. And they say that if officials make it three years, they tend to stay a lifetime. So if we can start them in high school, we can get them through those first three years, then maybe we can, we can get them to stay for quite a while. He hopes that other schools pick up the program as just one ref out of each school can make a huge difference for athletics. In Bath, Aaron Bowling, News 10. Other local schools offering the officiating course include Portland, Potterville, Lansing Eastern, and Eaton Rapids. And while it does cost money to register as a referee, there are programs to get those expenses covered. Well, as snow begins to pile up across parts of Michigan, more